my fellow collectors, this is Link from Link's Figure Reviews, and today we are going to run over one comic book and one art book. Now, this is going to be super cool. This is the comic book for today. It is Gotham City Garage Volume 1. There you go. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. Now, this one was, Volume 1 is super cool. I know I mentioned last week that I was going to try comic books to try. I know I gave you a backstory on how I lost a bunch and I'm trying to regain it. Now this is actually based off of the DC collectibles. The same collectibles that belong to the Harley Quinn from the DC uh, Gotham Garage. So this is based, this is based on the statues instead of the statues based on this. Now this is surprisingly a great story. It was an excellently written in my opinion. Colin Kelly, Jackson Lansing, Brian Ching, Enik, and Carmen Canero. I'm probably butchering names. I'm very sorry about that. Now, to give a brief summary of this, DC's greatest heroes and villains are reimagined as bikers in Gotham City Garage based on the stunning line of DC collectible statues. In the distant future, America has become a wasteland, all save for one unexpected haven, the Garden a forcibly domesticated utopia run by Governor Lex Luthor. <laughs> With the aid of his brutal enforcer, the Bat. What the heck, Bruce Wayne? Young Car Gordon has no idea what lies outside of the garden's borders, but is she's about to find out. Now, to give a brief uh, of overview of this story, Kara is obviously Supergirl. One of the last... Sorry, my dog just barked. Anyway, her, uh, they have a chip implanted in them to make them compliant. Hers has never worked properly, and sh uh, because she has no idea why, and because she's an alien. She did not know that because the, the, the utopia filters out yellow sun. So she's never been able to get yellow sun. And one day, when an active mercenary pits Kara against Luther's forces and even her own sister, Barbara Gordon flees as a desert fought over by motorcycle gloves, clubs, chief among them, the Gotham City Garage. These tougher than tough women included unexpected versions of Harley Quinn, Catwoman, and more quickly learn that Kara is more than she appears. Even before she demonstrates superpowers that review her to be more than human, they may embrace Kara as one of their own, but only if she lives long enough. Now, obviously, uh, spoilers for this, Jim Gordon gets killed by the bat. He snaps his neck because he's a dissident against Lex Luthor. And then Carr is framed for that, and uh, Barbara goes after her, and then she finds out the truth, and they both escape the Utopia together. And at the ending, there's a cliffhanger when um, Batman gets captured by the gang, and Catwoman, as it turns out, Selina Kyle is the secretary of Lex Luthor. So, we don't know if she's a double agent, if she's part of the uh, uh, actual uh, motorcycle gang, or if she's a spy for Lex, or if it's the other way around. Or if she's just in it for herself. Whoever wins, she's a part of the crew. Alright, so I would definitely give this a 10 out of 10. So much so that I've already ordered issue number 2 of this. And it's super amazing. I'm so happy that I got this. The artwork in it is amazing. I would definitely recommend buying it. It's on Amazon. The a the Again, the artwork is top-notch, completely reimagined. I'm so happy I got this. Alright, so, the next one is Vampirella 50th Anniversary Poster Book. And let me just switch cameras right for that. Alright, see you there. Alright, so here we have the Art of Vampirella 50th Anniversary Poster Book. Now this thing is super cool. I took a sneak peek at some of the images and some of the art pieces, and it is so amazing. Alright, so let's get right to it. So the Art of Vampirella 50th Anniversary Poster Book. Super cool. Alright, so let's get to the first image. Now this one is one of my, this is number two on my favorite. This is by J. Scott Campbell. Vampirella Volume 1, Issue Number 1. This is super cool. The art on this is so amazing. It is ridiculously good. I cannot, this is why Vampirella is one of my favorite comic series of all time. Now 
Now this one is by Lucio Par... I cannot, I'm going to butcher his name so I'm not even going to bother saying it. Vampirella Volume 1, Issue Number 2, uh, Issue Number 21. Now this one looks absolutely amazing as well. I don't know if I'm going to uh, go through all of them, but I will have all of the images at the end of this video. So let's go to the next one. This one's by Jenny Friesen, Vampirella Volume 2, Issue Number 1. This one looks amazing as well. All of these are going to look amazing. Let's get to the next one. The detail on these are super awesome. Gotta be careful not to miss any. This one's by Terry. Terry and Rachel Dodson. Vampirella Volume 2, Issue Number 2. This one is way more comic style. So awesome. The next one. This one is amazing as well. Adam Hughes, Vampirella Volume 4, Issue Number 1. Super cool. Never mind, I thought I had accidentally left the mic off, but it turns out it is on, so that's great. This one is again by Adam Hughes, Vampirella Volume 4, Issue Number 1. Image is absolutely spectacular. So very cool. Again, images at the end for closer ups. This is by Joseph, uh, Joseph Michael Linzer, Vampirella Roses for the Dead, issue number two. So very cool, the skulls in the background, obviously the Roses for the Dead. She has some nice musculature. This one's a bit different. Eyes are closed, a white rose that's been stained by splatters of blood. This one is also very cool. So awesome. All of these are awesome. I can guarantee you that. I don't think there's going to be a bad one in this. Just look at the detail. The redness of the moon. Super cool. This is more like an anime style one, but I like it. Now this one's really cool. This one is by Ji Hyung Lee. Vampro Valentine's Day Special. Truly an awesome piece of work. So happy I'm buying, I bought this. I might actually buy another one just to keep it in the plastic. Because I took this one out and just to look at it because it was completely awesome. So awesome. I was looking around Amazon for Vampirella comic books and I stole on, or I got onto this one and I just had to get it. Although in the future I will be buying Vampirella Ambiuses. I will try to get all of them. This is Frank Shoa, Vampirella Volume 3, Issue Number 1. Very cool. Again, image will be at the end. Now this one is super cool. All dark, really gothic, super awesome. Uh, Gabrielle Delacote? I can't, I, I, I can't say that. Vampirella Volume, Volume 5, Issue Number 1. Again, I'm getting glasses soon, guys. I'm just, I don't have any glasses right now, so I can't read properly. I broke them. That's why the last couple of videos have not had any glasses. Hopefully, I should be getting glasses soon, but this is supremely awesome. Now, this one is definitely retro. Although, what's with the guillotine? Guillotine's cool and all, but I don't think they needed it. But it's still awesome. I would still buy this piece all by itself. This is by Joe Jusko. Vimpro Volume 5, Issue Number 1. Very cool. I love it a lot. Also, the lighting is a bit darker in here because if I had my bright lights on, there would be a serious glare on this and you would not be able to see it as well. So, forgive me for that. Tyler Kirkham. Very cool. Vampirella Volume 5, Issue Number 1. This is so cool. One of my, this, this, I think this is my third favorite. This one is definitely my fourth favorite. Warren Leo Vimperal Volume 5, Issue Number 1. Just amazing. So realistic as well. I mean, it looks like a real person. In a gold version of a red, that's super cool too. It reminds me, I, I'd hate to say this, 
But it reminds me of the gold dress from Suicide Squad that Harley Quinn wears in the dancing area. That's all I'm going to say. But this one is very cool too. This is by Mike Mayhew, Vampirella, Volume 5, Issue Number 1. Awesome. Let's get to the next image. This one is definitely number 5 or 6 on my favorite. Just because of the color lighting. The first one has more in depth of this. Of my first favorite, number 1. Joshua Middleton Vampirella, Volume 5, Issue Number 1. I'm guessing all of these images are from the obvious, because I don't think they were that big to begin with. And there's a lot of issues. Alright, next image. The dead are literally clawing at her. This is by Alex Ross Vampirella, Volume 5, Issue Number 1. Super cool. Oh, Alex Ross? I just realized I recognized the name. Holy crap, Alex Ross. I just watched one of his videos on YouTube of, uh, of an interview that he got to do. Or that he did of himself. Oh man, this is sweet. I have an Alex Ross. Maybe not the main print, maybe a copy, but it's still an Alex Ross. Holy crap. Wow. Alright, next image. Yeah, this one is my all-time favorite one. It literally should just drink a whole bunch of blood. It's going down her. And they actually, Dynamite Entertainment is making a figure based off of this, or this is based off of it. And I don't know if I'll be able to get it in pre-order. I will try. I've got a lot of commitments this year that I need to maintain. But this is my all-time favorite. Even if I don't get this figure, this will be a next great replacement. Oh, man, this thing is so sweet. Number one on my favorites list of this. All right, next image. This is made by, oh, I forgot. Art Germ. Art Germ, Vampirella, Volume 5, Issue Number 2. Yeah, this one is cool as well. She's in a graveyard. Uh, Faye Dalton, Vampirella, Volume 5, Issue Number 2. This one is super cool as well. Awesome. She's just on a, she's in like a mausoleum cemetery on a giant um, tombstone. I can't remember. This is like a stone coffin, not a tombstone. All right. This one is definitely in my top ten. I still haven't done this is like almost like a really early Japanese manga style. It's very cool. This one is written by Julia March. I'm probably butchering your name. Sorry for that. Vampirella Volume 5, Issue Number 2. All right. This one is super cool. Next image. All right. I guess that was it. So that was it for the Vampirella 50th Anniversary Art Book. This was super cool. I'm so happy I got this. Alright, so, that's it for this video, my fellow collectors. If you liked the, the comic book review in the beginning of the video of Gotham City Garage, if you like uh, me doing these comic books and art books review on Mondays, let me know in the comments down below. I know I said on the, old, uh, the last Monday's video that I wanted to try it. Let me know how you felt about it. And as always, my fellow collectors, have an... Oh, wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. Forgot. Check out my Twitter. Check out my uh, Patreon. Um, I have one dollar gets you a preview, five dollars gets you a preview, and like a whole bunch of, um, that you can do all yourself, and ten dollars you get to say in future videos, every preview, four days before I even upload the video, and that's all for this video. Also, 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2020, and you will see me drink a whole bottle of habanero hot sauce. I'm actually really terrified of that, so let's make it happen, and see me in eternal anguish. As always, my fellow collectors, have a nice day, and peace out.